I'm exploring these lakes in Minneapolis area in Minnesota. Um, they have 10,000 lakes here and I'm trying to explore as many lakes I can within a short period of time. This looks very beautiful called a Weaver Lake. This uh, lake uh, is very beautiful but smaller than the other ones. Uh, especially I like these stairs. Uh, we have the pathway to the to the lake. Um, beautiful hangout place for the family on the evening or daytime. Uh, since the weather is very good nowadays, it's uh, it's pretty nice here. So I'll just walk to the lake and show the lake a little bit. So beautiful lake, very calm water, clean. People can kayak. It's very, very beautiful. Oh my God, they have a very beautiful decking deck. And especially like this uh, slide down for kids spending time. Another thing I noticed at this lake is uh, the walkway to the shower from the lake. It has a path or a map you can walk from the back to come and take shower here. It's very, very nice. And nicely under the tree shadow, you can put your hammock and you know chill out here. So nice, beautiful area, but you know, not a very nice walkway to a ramp or a area where you can go do fishing. Some people are fishing there, nice, very beautiful, very beautiful. There goes a fish. So that is a bluegill. Bluegill. Oh wow. Nice. And you're gonna be releasing it back yes. because it's too small? Too small. Okay. Is it small? It's, it's getting bigger. A little bigger than that. A little time. bigger. But you're gonna release this again? Yeah. So, if they're not as big as in my hand, no, I let them go. Small baby one. Come here. Easy as that. right by his eye, so I gotta be kind of careful. See, you see it's kind of by his eye? Yeah. So I have to be very careful. Yep, so it's out. He left a little bit of worm on there for me. Fish, how are you? Yep. He or she is very small, so I'm just gonna throw him back. Bye. Bye. Yep. On out. See you more coming? Yeah. Since it's really hot out, all the fish oh. are under the bridge. Uh -huh. so it's oh my god, there's there so go. many. There's so many. Yeah, see they keep coming out from under yeah. the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh ho. Ding. You should have waited, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the size of bait out in California. I know it's the size of bait. For those, yeah. And then when you get lucky, you hook them just right there. And boom. That's it. See ya. Had a good experience here. Uh, people catching and releasing fish. They are smaller in size, but they said they have a good size bass. They got lost uh, the other person at that point. It's really interesting to see how fast they can catch the fish here. And, uh, like,
Oh, beautiful lake. Nice clean bathrooms here. And they have this another play place. I'm not sure what this ring is for, but they have a basketball, canopy. And on this side, they have a beautiful hiking uh, area, exercising if you are looking for. So it's very, very nice. Huh. I, I, I really like the green and shadow. We don't see that much in California, but this place in summer is the place to visit. Uh, especially if you are like water kayaking, there is a lot of uh, clean, uh, quiet, shallow water. Uh, not really shallow, but quiet water, not no waves, unless until there are boats, but not all lakes have a lot of boats. So it's a very, very nice hiking area. Um, like to visit yeah. yeah one thing i like about here is the lakes uh, which you know you can visit in summer and in winter you can go uh, ice skating on the lake i believe those the, the, the get frozen and there is here is more as a raw really raw um, area look like a jungle for hiking you are in shadow no sun uh, but it's warm enough it's like about 80 degrees uh, as of now um, it's about uh, 11 30 in the morning very nice weather I like uh, the how the trees are list uh, dense and pure look like pure jungle uh, this hiking area is really beautiful uh, yeah, I will recommend anybody who want to visit uh, Minnesota, near Minneapolis area or others. So far I have only explored the Minneapolis area. So, it looks beautiful. And there's a tea point, which way I go. Uh, hopefully that goes down. This goes to more in jungle. Let's go to the right a little bit. Amazing. Wow. A beautiful hammock out there so somebody have a hammock to enjoy sitting down enjoying this hammock that would be nice it's a nice pressure one on the trees wow i would love to enjoy that Yeah, and the best part is this is in the city. You don't even have to drive hours to go out to experience this kind of uh, place within the city. Drive five miles, 10 miles here and there. Uh, you are in a totally different lake. Well, this leads to from that shingle area to, wow. And there you go. Oh, nice football field. Next to that, nice trails, decline. Oh, beautiful. Just go down this small little hill, it's a little steep. Have to fall down these trees to get down. Yeah, this is a kind of uh, beautiful hike. But you have to be careful, you can just slide down really fast. Huh. Wow. Wow. Nah. This place is amazing. Oh, nice tall maple trees. A lot of them. This maple grove pass. Park Central. So, area. There you can be. Uh, let's see what my next destination is. Uh, I believe I'll go to Rice Lake. That's about not very far. It's maybe two kilometer miles. Oh, all right, let's go to the Rice Lake. Uh, all right, uh, have to go to Rice Lake.
also arrived at Rice Lake and I just found out that this is a private lake so there's no public access to the lake at all. Uh, there's no boat launch area or a uh, park where you can camp or go swim in the lake unless until you are the residents of the area. It's, it's pretty pretty big, much bigger than, um, way much bigger than the uh, Weaver Lake. Uh, but it's beautiful next to the freeway and I think it's mostly uh, people residing next to it can only um, either use their boat or uh, something to actually um, go in the lake so it's not a public the only dock I found is this one I think that's also somebody's private platoon uh, and it has about five mile loop if you want to go on this path which is uh, uh, open to public uh, but lake itself is not so uh, but it's beautiful